Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel if you are working in power electronics when we see power supply circuits sometimes we see one optocoupler some power supplies have two optocouplers some of them have three optocouplers what is optocoupler why it is used in circuits how it works and if it gets damaged how we can replace it I received too many comments on my YouTube channel regarding optocoupler saying that when we replace optocouplers, sometime the circuit starts fluctuation, sometime it starts to produce ripples. And I received WhatsApp message from my viewer on my WhatsApp. Can I use any optocoupler to replace it in laptop charger or do I need specific model? There is written optocoupler EL1018. Is there any commonly available replacement for that? Can I use PC817? I replied him that EL1018 has CTR between 130 to 260. You can use PC817B. One of my viewers is working on Siemens power supplies. In that power supplies, there is a sealed module that is filled with epoxy. If we check the back print of the circuit, there are 8 pins, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There is no part number mentioned on this component. That is this component. He removed the epoxy using hot air gun. There is ET1102 optocoupler, two optocouplers in one module. Optocoupler or optoisolator basically is an interface that is used to send communication, any signal, any information, either that is voltage information or that is some data information between two circuits having different voltage levels and both circuits, both voltage levels need isolation. There is no physical electrical connection between both circuits. If you check this circuit from here to here, it is separate. Secondary side, primary side. Transformer, it will transfer voltage using magnetic field. Other informations from this side to this side will be transferred using optocoupler, optoisolator. Same way here. Any information from this side to this side. This is live area, hot area. This is cold side, output side, voltage regulation, any protection, any type of information that is to be transferred to these ICs. Might be here is PWM controller, might be here is PFC controller, might be here is some microcontroller. Any type of data that is to be transferred from here to here, optocoupler is used. It works on optical method, optical lights. This four pin component inside, one is light emitting diode or IR emitting diode. Some optocouplers use IRED, IR emitting diode and some of them use light emitting diode. In the second side, in the output side, there is phototransistor. There are different types of optocouplers. Some of them use SCR, some of them use IGBT, some of them use MOSFET, a very commonly used optocoupler that is phototransistor based. We will inject some signal here. That signal will reach in the output by means of optical light. And this light is passed through the channel here from the tube that is encased in this black epoxy. So this small black box one side LEDs, second side phototransistor, and it is covered with black epoxy. When we will connect to any circuit, to any microcontroller, to any device, cathode is grounded, LED, IRED, we will provide any type of signal, 5 volt signal, let's suppose. This IRED, this LED needs forward voltage. Sometimes it is 1 volt, 1.8 volt, depending on the type of optocoupler. 
second side. It is connected to some load to drive some microcontroller to drive anything. Here microcontroller or any driver will drive this optocoupler. This voltage dropping resistor that is current limit resistor it will control the current of this LED and we will take output here. This current is IF forward current. When VF forward voltage are applied IF will flow in this side. In result, it will transmit light. This light will reach to this base of this transistor. And if we apply 5 volt here, it will cause to flow current that is called IC. How much current will flow here? In result, what will the current value here? Because in this current and in this current, there is no physical radiation. There is an other media that is light. If we provide some varying current, will it cause to change the collector current? This is the main question. Based on this question, this point, we will select equivalent of any optocoupler. Let's see some example here and then we will come back to this point. Let's suppose I have one gear that is primary side, driving side. And if I have another gear, this primary gear is 20 teeth and secondary gear is 20 teeth. Same size gears. If I will run it, input gear and output gear have same speed. That means Output and input have same ratio. 6 RPM in output, 6 RPM in input. That means output. Output divided by input multiplied by 100. Transfer ratio. Let's suppose secondary gear have 10 teeth. Smaller in size. Now one turn in primary, this is large gear and this is small gear, 1 RPM in primary, 2 RPM in secondary. That means the output is higher than the input. 2 divided by 1 multiply by 100, 200%. If I have 5 teeth gear, one turn in primary, four turns in secondary. That time the output is 400%. Same rule will apply here. If I will use 5 milliampere current here, that is IF, forward current, how much current will there? Now come to transistor. When we discuss transistor, each transistor has its VCEO. What are the maximum voltage that can be applied between collector to emitter junction? That are called collector to emitter voltage. What is the maximum stress on the transistor? If a signal transistor, that will approximately 35 volt. Medium power transistor, that will reach up to 100 volt, 80 volts. 400 volt, 500 volt, depending on its application. The second parameter that is IC, collector current. What is the maximum current rating that can flow in this channel? Collector to emitter, that is called collector current. The third important parameter that is called beta, that is ratio between IC and IB, that is base to emitter current ratio with collector current. If we apply 1 ampere base to emitter current and we receive 10 ampere collector current, 10 over 1, the beta value will 10. That is its amplification factor. 
here we are not applying any base current we are applying light what will the current value here how much light will be generated how much conduction will there in this transistor it is mathematical calculation that will define current here and current here it is called transfer ratio what we are transferring current we are controlling this current by controlling this current that is very special calculation current transfer ratio ctr how much current we will apply here what will current flow here for that purpose we will see this el1018 optocoupler it is four pin long creepage sop small outline package photo transistor based photocoupler pin out is same pin 1 is anode pin 2 is cathode pin 3 emitter pin 4 collector here are absolute maximum ratings if forward current that is extremely high current 60 milliampere because when we discuss any led we discuss its current rating collector to emitter voltage 80 volt and if we check its maximum current that is 50 milliampere el1018 vc eo 80 volt ic 50 milliampere if maximum 60 milliampere it is the extremely highest current at this level its diode its led will damage now we will see this beta in normal transistor we say beta but here it is called ctr current transfer ratio if we discuss el1018 ctr what are the conditions when 5 milliampere current will flow here it is not discussing the value of the signal it is discussing current if 5 milliampere if vce that are this voltage that will be applied between these two points current transfer ratio for el1018 it is 130 to 260% now if you want to select any optocoupler based on this percentage let's check some equivalent a very commonly used optocoupler pc817 pc817 is available in 4 pin 8 pin 12 pin 16 pin in 4 pin there is one optocoupler 8 pin two optocouplers each channel each optocoupler is independent from the other now if you see if forward current maximum 50 milliampere collector voltage 35 volt this parameter is now different here but normally el1018 and pc1 pc817 are replaceable to each others because most of the time the voltage value is normally 5 volt 10 volt like that then ic 50 milliampere when any circuit have high voltage that time we must consider this voltage rating now in this electro optical characteristics check here current transfer ratio ctr when forward current is 5 milliampere and vce is 5 volt the same test condition we can select optocoupler between 50% to 600% in our case 130% to 260% that is category b that is its classification when we are selecting any optocoupler this category is very important so 130 to 260% is class b optocoupler pc817 b can be used to replace this el1018 optocoupler if the voltage values are within limit now check the second double 102 that is this optocoupler that is used in siemens power supplies 
it is optical coupler with photo transistor output it is available in 4 pin package 8 pin package from here to here in 16 pin package there are four optocouplers 4 pin will have one optocoupler 8 pin two channels two optocouplers that are independent from each other in 16 pin there are four opto isolators here is the most important feature that is ctr ctr ranking our required number is t11 et1102 63% to 125% et1102 63 to 125 percent. This is the first condition, and it is four pin single channel. Now we need to check the test condition. What is the test condition? Here are maximum ratings. Collector to emitter voltage 70 volt. IC 50 milli ampere. 1102. Its test condition is slightly different. 5 volt VCE and forward current 10 milli ampere. That time the CTR will 63 to 125 percent. IF will 10 milli ampere with same voltage rating that are 5 volt. So its test condition is different than this one. Now our test condition is 10 milli ampere, 63 percent to 125 percent. If we check 10 EL101 series with IF 10 milli ampere 5 volt 63 to 125 percent that means EL1012 can be used to replace this optocoupler its voltage value is same current value is same CTR value is same so we can say 1012 can be used as a replacement of this ET1102 or this can be used to replace this one we go to google ET1102 dg key it is auto isolator we want to check a replacement we can see 63% ctr at 10 milli ampere and 125% at 10 milli ampere voltage 70 volt and four pin dip throw hole t1102 sfh617a it is also replacement for that one we can see the ctr current transfer ratio is same here is maximum ctr timing different parameters vce collector to emitter voltage 70 volt and collector current sfh617 vo615 the same ctr values vo610 vo615 H one one A six one seven, F four D six one seven, K eight one seven P two, with same CTR values, same collector voltage, collector voltage, collector current, transfer function, using these parameters, based on forward current and VCE voltage in test condition, we can select the replacement, equivalent substitute of optocoupler. or we can select a proper optocoupler for our project i hope this video is informative for you if it is good give a thumb up if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh